Welcome to Mama Cat's Home. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an update on our garden and I decided I would show you this first. This is the lettuce that we had done, the kitchen scraps, and as you can see it's growing quite well here. Uh, enough to have maybe a tiny tiny salad, not really much of a salad, but anyway, kitchen scraps, you can do food from that. Anyway, I'm going to go on over here and share with you the actual garden. We've gotten a lot of rain, so I have not actually been out here, but I have some fun things to show you. This is a week later, maybe, maybe not even quite a week, because this is Monday, and I don't know if I did, did this last time on Monday or what, but anyway, this is the cucumber, and as you can see, we already have some blooms. I may pull those blooms off because it's a bit early, but I don't know yet. I've got to talk to Jeff about that. We still have not done this part yet. And these are our peppers. And as you can see, there's some blooms with those as well. It looks like birds have been in here partying. See, there's some little blooms. They're all looking okay. They're all bigger than they were. And these are the tomatoes. They look better. Uh, they've already gotten taller. We're going to have to put our little basket things on there. I don't know exactly how we're going to do it this year. We may do it differently than we did last year. We still haven't decided, but these are the tomatoes. And Jeff said, he just told me that the eggplant looks like something has been having a little snack on them. And I can see that right there. Something's been snacking. But we have to do that every year. We have to do something about something snacking on our stuff so we'll have to take care of that and these are the jalapeno peppers and there's some blooms on them as well but that is what they look like and we're gonna have to get in here and get something for this i don't know what we're gonna do yet we do have this little fence because of the dogs but i'm going to turn the camera off real quick and then i'm gonna show you uh when i walk over there what my herb garden that I did last year, what's in it from last year, this year. This is our little herb garden that we did last year, and I'll link the video up above of where I built it. Um, anyway, what we planted in here was quite a few things, basil, oregano, so, uh, cilantro, um, garlic chives, parsley, I think that's all but anyways what we have left which i did not even expect other than i expected the cilantro but i did not expect the other things but we have a bunch of oregano here it's just taken over which is great that's what i wanted and then we have garlic chives a lot of that and what I, and then we have this huge amount of parsley and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it and i'm going to bring it in the house and i'm going to clean it up you know wash it like i normally would if i was going to cook it need you know cook with it and i'm going to put it in my dehydrator so that i can have this stuff later on but um i really haven't paid attention to this and then all of a sudden i mean because it was we've used it some during the cold time but not much but the last time when i did come out here the parsley was nowhere near that big and we noticed it being this huge of uh, like i don't know a week ago or something and we just haven't had time to come out here and cut it and clean it up and dehydrate it so that is the plan and we're also going to plant our um time back there in that corner back over there is what my plan is and then we won't you know be planting anything else in here as far as i know but i'm not digging it up i'm just saying i'm gonna cut it back and save it you know preserve it but anyway that is all i have for today that is what my garden is looking like so far week one after planting and um yeah uh already have some blooms and things i'm thinking about snipping those off though because if they bloom too fast the plant won't get big and things like that so um the plant needs to be healthy and hardy to produce the fruit the right way so that is all I have for today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.